In the midst of 1977, a pivotal chapter in the ongoing saga of modern space exploration began to unfold. This was the year when two extraordinary emissaries of human curiosity, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, embarked on a mission that would forever alter our understanding of the cosmos. Their quest to unravel the mysteries of our solar system's outer planets, a realm that remained shrouded in enigmatic darkness at the time. 45 years later, these uncrewed pioneers of space still traverse the celestial expanse, challenging the very boundaries of human ingenuity and endurance. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, despite journeying billions of miles away from their terrestrial home, remain steadfast in their commitment to transmit invaluable data back to Earth. The insights they furnished have become the bedrock of our cosmic knowledge, a testament to the remarkable tenacity of human scientific endeavor. Voyager 1, in particular, has etched its name into the annals of history by granting us the gift of sound from the far reaches of the cosmos. In today's video, we will delve into the intriguing auditory discovery captured by Voyager 1 last year, a cosmic hum that resonates with the very essence of interstellar space. We'll also explore other riveting phenomena that continue to captivate the collective imagination of researchers and space enthusiasts alike. Before we embark on this cosmic voyage, we invite you to join us on a journey of discovery. If you hunger for knowledge and seek to stay abreast of groundbreaking discoveries and cosmic spectacles, do consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell. Your engagement, as signified by a thumbs up, fuels our passion to bring you the marvels of the universe. The year is now 2023, and Voyager 1 finds itself at a staggering distance of nearly 15 billion miles from Earth. This vast expanse that separates us from this pioneering spacecraft is beyond human comprehension. To put it in perspective, only one other human-made object has ventured as deeply into the cosmos, and that is its celestial twin, Voyager 2. Launched in the late 1970s, these sibling probes began their mission by embarking on an extraordinary odyssey to study Jupiter and Saturn up close. Yet, as the years passed, their paths diverged. Voyager 1, in its unrelenting quest for knowledge, charted a solitary course toward the outermost fringes of the solar system. In contrast, Voyager 2, with its inquisitive spirit, ventured further into the cosmos, undertaking a grand tour that included encounters with Uranus and Neptune. As Voyager 2 transitioned into its interstellar mission phase, it undertook a series of critical tasks that aimed to examine various facets of the solar system's frontier. These included the study of the intensity and orientation of the solar magnetic field, the analysis of the composition and energy spectra of solar wind and cosmic rays, the scrutiny of radio wave strength, and the investigation of hydrogen distribution at the outer heliopause. Yet, one of the most intriguing revelations came when Voyager 1 serendipitously detected a faint and mysterious hum while cruising through the uncharted waters of interstellar space. This monotonous, almost eerie hum emanates from the interstellar medium, a cosmic realm teeming with matter, radiation, and magnetic fields. This medium, which extends far from the gravitational embrace of stars, comprises primarily gas in various forms, along with dust, electromagnetic radiation, and cosmic rays. It is underpinned by the complex interplay of the galactic magnetic field's plasma wave subsystem. Voyager 1's meticulous observations revealed that within this seemingly serene interstellar medium, disruptions in plasma waves occasionally manifest. These disturbances, it turns out, owe their origin to the influence of the solar wind, a testament to the enduring connection between our home star and the cosmos beyond. Between these bursts of activity from our host star, there exists a constant, albeit faint, hum, a steady, low-frequency resonance that is best likened to the gentle patter of raindrops. Researchers have drawn a captivating analogy, describing the interstellar medium as akin to a calm, gentle rain, with the solar winds appearing as periodic lightning strikes, radiating in a narrow frequency bandwidth. This ominous hum, although faint and requiring specialized processing to be discerned, has led scientists to rethink the frequency of these lulls in interstellar gas. It appears that such moments of tranquility within the interstellar medium occur with far greater frequency than previously imagined. The universe, it seems, has a hidden, almost poetic rhythm that Voyager 1 sensors have unveiled. 
As we stand on the precipice of more profound cosmic discoveries, one fact remains constant, the unwavering journey of the Voyager probes. Their relentless quest for knowledge will continue until around 2025, when they are set to conclude their scientific activities. By the 2030s, they will have ventured so far beyond our blue planet that communication with Earth will become impossible. Nevertheless, their legacy, encapsulated in the iconic Voyager Golden Records, is set to endure for hundreds of millions of years. These records are destined to bear witness to our existence, serving as a testament to the achievements of humankind long after our era has faded into history. Turning our gaze closer to home, we cast our minds back to July 20th, 1969, a date etched into the annals of human achievement. It was on this day that two intrepid astronauts, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, etched their names in history by becoming the first humans to set foot on a foreign celestial body, the Moon. In the wake of this momentous event, ambitious plans were laid out, with the prospect of numerous lunar landings and the establishment of a permanent human presence on our satellite. However, the years have passed, and the last manned excursion to the Moon occurred nearly half a century ago. Yet, the aspirations of several countries and space agencies remain undiminished. Their vision, to return to the Moon and establish permanent lunar stations while harnessing the Moon's valuable resources. This vision is not without its challenges. It requires vast resources, including energy, water, and a supply of breathable air. Yet, one obstacle looms larger than the rest, the hostile lunar environment. The Moon's surface is marked by extremes that defy imagination. Daytime temperatures soar to nearly 250 degrees Fahrenheit, scorching everything in their path. In stark contrast, lunar nights are characterized by bone-chilling cold, with temperatures plummeting to almost minus 275 degrees Fahrenheit. These extreme conditions pose a formidable challenge to human exploration and habitation. Yet, hidden beneath the lunar surface, within the labyrinthine passages and caves formed by ancient lava flows, a solution may lie dormant. Probe images and data hint at the existence of these subterranean lunar realms. They comprise winding depressions and skylights, circular depressions that may have formed when cave ceilings collapsed. These skylights, with diameters ranging from about 50 to 500 feet, could very well serve as entrances to extensive underground cavities. To assess the viability of these lunar caves as potential habitats, scientists embarked on a mission to uncover their temperature profiles. They closely examined a skylight located near the lunar equator, a collapse hole approximately 300 feet deep and 300 feet in diameter. The thermal camera on NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter provided invaluable data for this endeavor. The scientists utilized this data to construct physical models of heat conduction, unveiling a surprising revelation. Despite the searing temperatures on the lunar surface during the day, the bottom of this pit registered temperatures exceeding 280 degrees Fahrenheit, influenced not only by solar radiation, but also by thermal radiation from the cave's walls. Yet, within the cave adjacent to the skylight, a remarkable constancy prevailed. The temperature held steady at around 63 degrees Fahrenheit, a stark contrast to the lunar surface's extremes. This revelation underscores a critical principle. The larger the cave, the more stable and temperate the conditions it provides. In light of these findings, lunar caves present an intriguing proposition for the establishment of permanent lunar bases. Beyond the comfortable room temperatures they offer, they provide natural protection against the dual threats of meteorite impacts and cosmic radiation. Yet, before we can fully embrace this vision, these lunar caves must undergo comprehensive investigation and validation. The prospect of humanity's future lunar outposts nestled within air-conditioned lunar caves is a tantalizing prospect, one that may soon come to fruition. In closing, we turn our gaze toward the farthest reaches of the cosmos, where the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern astronomy, embarks on its mission to unlock the secrets of the universe's infancy. One of Webb's primary objectives is to peer back in time and detect the earliest galaxies and luminous objects that illuminated the cosmos shortly after the Big Bang. Although Webb's scientific journey has only just begun, it has already made a profound impact on our understanding of the early universe. 
Among its remarkable discoveries is the detection of one of the oldest galaxies ever observed, an entity known by the scientific moniker Glass Z13. This ancient assemblage of stars and cosmic companions emerged into existence a mere 300 to 400 million years after the cataclysmic event that birthed the cosmos, the Big Bang itself. Glass Z13's existence predates that of the previous record holder, HD1, by a staggering 30 million years. This remarkable achievement showcases Webb's unparalleled capabilities and heralds a new era in our quest to understand the cosmos. As we stand at the precipice of ever greater cosmic discoveries, we invite you to share your thoughts on the enigmatic hum detected by Voyager 1 in interstellar space and the tantalizing prospects of establishing lunar bases within caves. Your opinions, as always, are a valuable part of our cosmic exploration journey. Thank you for joining us on this celestial odyssey, and rest assured, we will continue to bring you the wonders of the universe as they unfold. Stay tuned for more awe-inspiring revelations from the cosmos.